we're off to San Francisco. So this is the town of El Granada. This is apparently a quite an expensive place to live. Right, we're here. We're at the house. We're at our friend's, Kirsten's friend's house. So speaking to Catherine, she used to work for uh, Google and said that it was a good company to work for. People worked very hard there, but then they had things like swimming pools and that you could sit by and lots of nice facilities and nice food. So this area is known for pumpkins. That's why we saw so many pumpkins yesterday. We are off to San Francisco. Yeah. So this is the port at Half Moon Bay. This is the harbour and in the distance you can see the wall is just covered in birds. Apparently they're pelicans. These are fuel prices for the boats. Uh, it's about the same as for cars. The countryside is beautiful again. It, it is, yes. Mm. That is a seaside taco bell. We are in Pacifica. Hi, so this is Kirsten who is the principal translator on our Texan German video. What do you think of California? I think it's a wonderful area, beautiful beaches, lots of wonderful views. I like it. A lot of sun. Yes. This is Daly City. There are lots of beaches here. The lights along here are set to red. When you approach them, they turn green. Oh. There, yeah, you go. there they go, yeah. Really? That's the fifth time it's happened. We are on Panorama Street. Oh my goodness, that is so <laughs> steep. <laughs> Let's see if the brake works. The brake yes. Works. Oh, Dodge, we still love you. There is a reservoir at the top of this hill. So this is San Francisco, and in the distance you may be able to see the Golden Gate Bridge. Don't use these machines, they're all broken. We've just spent a dollar finding out. Apparently this is one of the ways people can die from using a selfie stick, standing on the edge. But no, San Francisco has just incredible views. If we could afford to live here, this would be very nice. If anyone wants to buy us a house, <laughs> then um, it's just incredibly hilly. My ears are popping. Yeah. goes <laughs> further. These houses nice, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So this is Castro Street. It's an abrupt grey change. Oh, oh, yes, it is. Ah. <laughs> so we've stopped for a bit. These streets are just incredibly steep. It's actually quite hard to drive. I have to do hill starts, but it's really nice around here. It's um, sort of slightly older style housing. As it's coming up to Halloween, everyone has pumpkins out. I've seen that in films. This is quite colourful. We found a parking spot, so we're going to have a coffee. So we are in Tartine, and uh, this is really good. This is proper coffee. I've had proper coffee twice in one day um, <laughs> at, in, in the United States, so there. This is devil's cake. I, I actually don't mind, even if it was literally made by Satan, it, it, it is delicious. Uh, I haven't parked this close since I owned a car in Brighton. This is a very, very colourful city. There are lots of things here. Like when looking through the Dodge for attractions, it just came up with a huge list. And driving up the tram track. The driving around here is bonkers. I can't find anywhere to park. Uh, but I think this is Chinatown, seeing everyone is Chinese and everything's written in Chinese. This is this listening. I did have the devil's yeah. chocolate cake and I feel full of sugar. Yet this place is so busy and bustling, I can see why people want to be here. So this is quite something. It's really noisy here! We are opposite... Alcatraz! Thanks very much. See you. Yeah, see you. Bye. This is quite a nice city. I, I like it better than Halloween. I like the water. Yes. Yeah. We are standing near... Sea lions. Something good about San Francisco is it's very pedestrian friendly, I must say. There's loads of these zebra crossings or whatever you call these things in America. They're all over the place. We're 2,600 miles from New York. We are finally at the Hotel Whitcomb. It took us an hour, but we're here. It looks very nice. We're taking an Uber. Which started in San Francisco. The system works. Is San Francisco good? I would 
San Francisco. Is this weather today typical? This time of year, yeah. Turn left onto Fresno Street. On the recommendation of our friends Simon and Rob from England, who were here recently, we are going to Fior d'Italia, which is the United States' oldest Italian restaurant. Are you enjoying your salad? It's very nice. And I'm enjoying my various meats. How is it? It's very good. Got a spag bol. Mm. Buongiorno, Chris, come va? All right. Cosa hai fatto? I have to leave now. <laughs> I recommend this place. I like port. They can do a brand of port. I mean, it's good. How is your dessert? Mine's good too. I'm going to Instagram it. <laughs> That was very nice. And Uber works and everything was nice. Yeah. They don't have screens in San Francisco. This is our hotel. So we spent a night in this room. It's quite an old hotel, but the bed was comfortable and that's the main thing. We are approaching the Golden Gate Bridge. This was in the film Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, in the rebooted Planet of the Apes series. What else was it? It was in a lot of films. It's quite a famous bridge. It's called the Golden Gate Bridge because the entry to the bay was called the Golden Gate, so the bridge doesn't have to be golden. If you come to Vista Point on the north side, you can get a nice view of the bridge and of the rest of San Francisco. What's it like living here? Very liberal, extreme market ratio, extremely expensive. 60% of the houses are for over a million dollars. Do you enjoy the area? Oh, yeah. Lord, yes. Oakland A's, San Francisco 49ers, San Francisco Giants, the basketball team in Oakland. So you have four major sporting teams right here. Look at them right there. They have more events. There's just not one day that that town right there, San Francisco, doesn't have some kind of event where 100,000 people show up. The weather here is the best in the country. We're not tourists, we're, we're explorers. And you're looking for a place to live? Or yes. yeah. In the whole country. Anywhere? Well, well, right there, a place to live. Right there. This is right there. Yes, outside, yes, yes. Thanks very much. Right, and, um, <laughs> yes. Cheers. We are going to go over there. We're at Fort Baker, which gives you, I think, a better view of the Golden Gate Bridge. But more importantly, well, at least for Star Trek fans, Fort Baker, behind us, is the future home of Starfleet and Starfleet Academy. That's and pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to In and Out Burger. It's extremely busy here. It is here. I think it's better than Whataburger. The fries are a bit weird. They're a bit flowery. We are leaving the Bay Area. Goodbye, San Francisco. For some reason, there's something that's in kilometers. Once we got out of San Francisco, everything just dried right up again. There is just nothing here except for dead grass. Yeah, so we went to In-N-Out Burger for the first time, and almost as soon as we went, Chris sort of went wrong. So I think something about it made him ill. I don't know what, because I had the same thing. I don't think we're going to go a lot further today, because uh, our, our poor driver is ill. We have driven 16,000 miles. Chris, what did you think of San Francisco? A very nice city. It was extremely hilly. It felt like driving over cliffs when we were driving around, which was quite fun, actually. It's colourful. It has a sort of European feel, perhaps. Something I noticed was that uh, as you drive west in America, the cities get newer and newer, but then you're hit by this old port city. The place was founded in 1776, and you can tell that it's much older. It's very diverse, it's vibrant. I was surprised by Chinatown. I thought it might just be a few streets, but it is an active large district where the Chinese community are still present. I like that it's by the sea. Even though it's very expensive, and I don't think we'd be able to live there because of the cost. It's a great place to visit. I, I liked it. Yeah. 